Attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, then you need Nelson. You need on November 7th, Nye County Sheriff's Office deputies were dispatched to Intermountain Healthcare's Urgent Care Department in reference to a report of a physical domestic. Upon arrival, officers made contact with the alleged victim who claimed to have been beaten by William Bergen. Officers stated that while speaking with the alleged victim, officers observed dried blood on the chest area, swelling and redness on the right side of their face, and bruising and abrasions to her chin area. They were also noted to have broken glasses that they were wearing, and that it allegedly occurred when Bergen had punched her in the face. According to the declaration of arrest, the victim was allegedly punched four to five times in the face while parked in front of AutoZone. She was attempting to get out of the vehicle, however, Bergen allegedly would not let her and threatened to take her out into the desert and kill her. When the alleged victim attempted to exit the vehicle, she allegedly fell onto the front passenger floorboard, according to the declaration of arrest, with her legs hanging out of the car. William then allegedly drove her to another location where he continued to strike her. On a November 5th, the reporting party was stated to have had a baby and had sutures placed. She stated to Bergen that she felt her sutures burst open, and according to the declaration of arrest, Bergen then drove her erratically to urgent care while she was seated on the passenger floorboard with her legs hanging out. The alleged victim then stated that she was thrown out of the vehicle onto the parking lot floor, according to the arrest report. Officers then spoke to two eyewitnesses, one of which was coming out of Fitness for 10, which is across the street from Intermountain Healthcare. The witness had stated that they had seen a vehicle speeding into Intermountain's parking lot, then allegedly saw Bergen exit the vehicle and pull the alleged victim out of the car, leaving her on the parking lot before speeding off. The second witness was an employee at Intermountain who was sitting in her car during her lunch break when she allegedly saw a car speed into the parking lot with its passenger door open. She stated to officers that she observed a male get out of the car and that allegedly began yelling and screaming at the female to get out of the car. The male then allegedly grabbed the female's dog and her other belongings out of the car before speeding off. The alleged victim then told the witness that she was having breathing problems and security and other staff members were notified to help her. Officers then conducted a traffic stop on a gray Kia that was reported to have been the vehicle Bergen was driving in. Officers then confirmed it was Bergen driving the vehicle and promptly arrested him. William Bergen was booked into the Nye County Detention Center under the charges of domestic battery and first-degree kidnapping.